So I wanted to bring you into our chicken aviary because um, it's eerily quiet here. There's some, some shell ducks on the pond, but they're the only birds out here that are in the open top aviaries because you might not realise, unless you keep birds, that just whilst we've been dealing with the coronavirus pandemic, we've also been trying to stop a pandemic of bird flu, which can, of course, jump into humans and cause massive problems as well. So all of these birds that live out here normally have been shut inside for a number of weeks now. And um, we are now just about at the point where the restrictions are going to be lifted. So we're going to be bringing our birds back out this week and uh, putting them back outside. So we'll get them a quick MOT and then back to their enclosure. But one of the things that I always enjoy this time of year, and I'm honestly gutted that no one's here to enjoy it, is the cherry blossom on these trees so I just you can call me soppy if you like but I absolutely love it when this happens and it makes me sad that nobody is here to see it and it probably won't last long enough for everyone to see when they arrive because it's already started falling on the floor so here we go it isn't it just one of the most beautiful things that nature provides for us Welcome back guys, we are heading round to the cow barn with the horse box or the cattle box on the back of the truck. We're going to take, hopefully, a couple of the cows back out to the grass for the summer. They've overwintered in the barn, it's been really good. They are old girls and have appreciated being out of the mud and the weather, but now it's time to get them out. So if anybody watching this knows how to get a water buffalo, but stubborn as you like, into a trailer. Well, by the time you see this, we'll have had a go, but feel free to leave some comments. and we'll see what we can do. We're gonna try and back the trailer up to the hole. We've got some cows, but not the buffalo. So we will return and try and lure her in afterwards. She's so big and stubborn that she will not be hurried. She will do everything in her own time, which is a pain in her backside to uh, do anything with her. But she's a bit of a princess around here, so we shall wait. So these two are going to different fields. Got our sort of exotic OAP cow field and then our British cow field.
Come on, Bridgie! Oh, you've done a massive turn in your food bowl! That's where we keep our food. I was going to sign off in the field, but uh, this happened today, so I thought I'd bring you into the farm barn and show you our bag of goats, one of the rarest goats, uh, British breeds of goat in the country, and we've got a little group of five females, and uh, they've just started kidding, and they are clearly adorable. It's not much more fun than a baby goat. Um, so thanks for watching to the end of the video. If you've noticed, I've been showing, uh, throwing up quite a lot of short videos onto the channel recently. That's because YouTube have started a new section called Shorts, and I've been trying to get some... Uh, some content on there so i hope you've been enjoying those i'll continue to uh, throw those up and uh, see what happens to them but thanks for watching to the end of the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i will as always see you next time